went into the room right over there. For your checkers. Our room right over here. Where we always go. Meet five-year-old Claudia and seven-year-old Ian. You cough a lot and have a flare-up. And don't forget their dog. Do you have a name? First guy? I was going to name it Fluffy. Claudia and Ian need to avoid real fluffy animals because pet dander can make their asthma worse. They've learned to ask the questions. If a friend asked him over, he says, okay, I have to ask my mom, and do you have cats? Do you have dogs? 22 million Americans suffer from chronic asthma. Do it real slow, okay? About a quarter of them are kids. Slow, deep breath in. Slow. At 18 months old, Claudia was diagnosed at Children's Hospital of Philadelphia, commonly referred to as CHOP. About three months later, Ian tagged along for Claudia's appointment. He started coughing, and the doctor said, This one has asthma too, you know. And I said, no, I didn't know that. <laughs> they have a strong genetic link to asthma. Their father has it too. Asthma is a problem in the airways. Asthmatics use a daily inhaler to cut down on chronic inflammation in the airways, which causes wheezing and shortness of breath. They use another inhaler to relax the muscles that tighten around the airways during an acute attack. Among mom's biggest challenges? The school nurse did not believe he was having an asthma attack. He got rushed down here with, by ambulance. Their grandmother stopped smoking because they couldn't go visit her. Environmental control, figuring out what triggers in your home, are making your child's asthma worse. That's one of the key components of the Community Asthma Prevention Program started at CHOP. So your role is to go into the, into the house and say, these are the things we have to do? Right. Here are the common triggers. Here are ways that we can help you remove these triggers. Besides pets and secondhand smoke, mold, dust, pollen, and vigorous activity, cockroaches and mice can be a problem, too. Dolores and her grandson Anthony became part of CAP after a recent visit to the emergency room. My name is Anthony Waters and I have asthma. Christy's a home visitor for CAP. She told Anthony his room needed an extreme makeover to remove the dust catchers. Try to remove stuck animals' books and we help them to remove the carpet and replace it with tiles, give mattress covers, pillow covers. Now I understand you're an athlete. Mm -hmm. And how do, you, how do you deal with that? Do you ever have asthma when you start to exercise? What we ask them to do is to do a slow warm up here and, and slow warm down. It takes both lifestyle changes and chronic medicine to help control asthma. But what about the day to day? I'm here at CHOP where Dr. Tyra Bryant-Stevens says, look to the traffic light for directions. CHOP recommends using an asthma action plan, a color-coded reference for parents, babysitters, schools, and doctors. Try to do is identify for the children their triggers. The green zones is what they do every day when they're feeling well. The yellow zone is when they start to get sick with their early symptoms. And the red zone is when they're really tight, they can't talk without stopping to breathe. So for caregivers of asthmatics like so Anthony, like Ian, and Claudia? Take responsibility and learn all you can learn. And really, most children live a totally normal life. It's a miracle. <laughs> oh, a party one. All right. <laughs>